touchdown. They're rolling. They're rolling. What are they going to take two laps? Jeez, I hope we get on the air in time. Mark Martin's car won't start. On the pits, Mark Martin's car won't start. Go, John, way to pick him. The world's leader in motorsports coverage is live at Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama for the Winston 500. It's cloudy, it's cool. There is a 70% chance of rain this afternoon, but the chance of rain is lessening and not increasing. Mr. April, Rusty Wallace, comes into this ninth race looking for his fourth win in a row and a 101-point lead in the quest for the cup standings. In the second five, Dale Jarrett is hoping for a win here today and bringing him a step closer to the Winston Million. Well, because the weather is threatening, we have put the cars on the racetrack. They are completing their first warm-up lap, and they should get the green flag next time around. 41 cars will start. Here's the AC Delco starting lineup. The pole sitter at 192.355 is Dale Earnhardt. And outside the front row, his best career star, Jimmy Spencer, in the Meineke Ford car number 12. And as we take a look at the rest of the starting lineup, Dale Jarrett starts in third position. Is it going to be this easy, Ned, as it uh, was at Daytona? Well, it wasn't easy there, Bob, but I think it'll be even tougher here than it was at Daytona because the pole speeder at Daytona was not two miles an hour faster than everybody else, as Dale Earnhardt was here. But the restrictor plate passing is getting better now because of bigger spoilers, and uh, I think we will see a lot of passing and maybe even on the last lap for the win. And there we see Rusty Wallace back in row 12 the winner of the last three Winston Cup events. Dick Trickle starting alongside Jimmy Means in row number 14 as the field moves out of turn number two, looking for the backstretch. Well, we saw the Mark Martin back there in the 11th position. His car is still on pit road. Something wrong with it. It won't start. And we complete the starting lineup with Bobby Hillen starting in 41st position. He took a provisional. Jerry, what's wrong with Mark Martin? Not a good beginning here at Talladega for Mark Martin. Uh, he qualified 11th, but the Valvoline Ford would not crank. The battery was dead. Sitting here on pit road, they have now pulled the battery out, are replacing it with another battery. But the word from NASCAR is he will have to start dead last. Shotgun on the field. As you hear, they've just fired the car. They are putting the opera window back in the car as the crowd roars up here. A lot of Mark Martin Valvoline fans. Jack Roush here along with Steve Mill orchestrating that battery change. Now the team making sure they get all those windows fastened back with the zoot fasteners. And he should be ready to roll away. A big smile from Mark and the team. Not what they wanted to have happen, but apparently uh, they're going to hold him here and let him roll slowly as the field catches up to the Valvoline Ford. And instead of going green this time, they will complete one more lap in order that Mark Martin might fall in on the grid. Well, let's take a look now at the Bush track description. Talladega Super Speedway, 2.66 miles in length. The small speed was 192.3 at a time of 49.7. We'll go 188 laps, and the field is separated by a little less than seven seconds. Talladega is a tri-oval. 
and the turns in one and two are banked at 33 degrees. Off of that, they come on to the flat back stretch, which measures 4,000 feet in length. From there, they go to turns number three and four, and also you will find 33 degrees of banking there. Then onto what we call the tri-oval, which is banked at 18 degrees, and it is 4,300 feet in length. Pick up 300 feet with the dog leg. Now we see Mark Martin down on the inside catching up and has to start at the rear of the field. Now, if there's a positive situation to that, he has uh, two more laps that he could run than the rest of the field, even though they're running under caution. A little bit more fuel in that car, so who knows what difference that might make. But, but I'll tell you, it's going to be tough going from there up towards the front. Well, we have four in-car cameras today. Here's Morgan Shepard as he will start in ninth position. Bobby Hillen is way back in the back. Had to take a provisional to get the starting line up in 41st. Jeff Gordon, the leading rookie contender, starts in 24th position in the DuPont Chevrolet. Jeff Bodine is also carrying one of our in-car cameras. He starts in 31st position. That's Jeff Bodine, the motorcraft board you're seeing. And there is Jeff Gordon, the DuPont Automotive Finishes Chevrolet. Picking his nose for the last time. <laughs> Did he was you scratching that? his nose. No, he was scrap. I'm there sorry, he was scratching his nose. Getting a little bit of perspiration out of there, so everything will be well when we go green. And the cars now are entering the 33 degree banking of turn number three. And we should be getting a green for 188 laps of competition in the Winston 500. Certainly a lot different scenario from last weekend when we were on the half mile flat track at Martinsville. This is the fastest and longest speedway that NASCAR competes on. And I was really being funny because you can't pick your nose those gloves anyway, <laughs> folks. I mean, you know I was being funny. Quickly, an update on Mark Martin from Jerry Punch. The crew originally thought they had a dead battery. They took a battery out, put a new battery in the car, but it didn't solve the problem. Apparently, it was not the battery at all. It was a switch. There's a power switch, a master cutoff behind the seat that they had to straight wire it around to keep the power to the battery to fire the car. So it was not a battery. It was a power switch as we get set for green in Talladega. 